And in Ghana, the debate on whether to legalize commercial motorbike transport or not rages on as the country prepares for the polls in December. While motorbike taxis serve as a form of employment for many young people in the country, there are still safety concerns. CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai reports from Accra. A normal working day for Kwame Yeboa as he waits for passengers. It's illegal to use motorbikes for commercial transport in Ghana, but Kwame has found ways of beating the system. He has been in this job for six years. Due to how the police catch us, at the same time, because we have a lighter, we can't stop. Because the police man is there. If you stop, they will catch you. So you try to rush into the traffic and cause accident. Commercial motorbike transport, popularly called Okada, derived its name from Nigeria, where it is the most common form of public transport in cities with heavy traffic. But in February, the Nigerian government banned its use in its first capital city, Lagos, due to safety concerns. In Ghana, opinions are divided on whether or not to legalize commercial motorbike transport. This Okada thing is just a nuisance on our roads. They are a serious threat to our road uh, users. For me, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for the whole nation or for anybody else. For me, I think that's the last thing we deserve as a country. Legalization of Okada. I don't support it and would never support it. I want the motorbike taxis to be legalized because it helps with easy movement in town. Okada employs hundreds of young people in Ghana. Riders carry people to places where buses find it difficult to access. But last year, more than 4,600 road crashes involved motorbikes and caused more than 700 deaths. The motorbikes are not just a cheaper means of transportation. They also help many people beat heavy traffic on the city's roads. The Okada is also dominating political discussions as the country prepares for general elections. The largest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, is campaigning to legalize Okada when it wins power, while the governing New Patriotic Party, on the other hand, says it will not. But safety experts want commercial motorbike transport to be legalized in Ghana despite the risks it poses to motorists. It's a, a necessary form of transportation for a class of or a section of the population, that's one. And then two, we can make it safer. Kwame Yeboa agrees. He says his decision on whom to vote for during the elections in December will be influenced by which party will legalize commercial motorbike transport in Ghana. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.